Hello, uh, good morning. Uh, welcome back to my uh, series of uh, control tutorial, motor control tutorial. Now today what I'm going to do is discuss this power diagram. Okay. Now what I have here in my screen is a simple single phase power diagram. Now in motor control, there are two diagram that we need to understand okay first is the power circuit or the power diagram and the control diagram okay. now here today what i'm going to do is walk you through with a very simple uh, single phase power diagram now uh, as you can see here i have here my line i can call it line one that is to the 220 volt ac then my neutral line okay now i have here my different components i have here my circuit breaker I have here my contactor, or I can say magnetic contactor, then overload protection. Then I have here my single phase isolator switch. Now, my circuit breakers is three phase. My con uh, magnetic contactor is three phase. Likewise, the overload protection. Okay, guys, don't worry. Uh, in my next tutorial, I'll be showing you the different components. I will show you the terminals and the auxiliary contact of each uh, component. Okay, now uh, this tutorial will help the engineering student to at least learn how are they going to connect the power diagram, okay, or how are they going to draw the power diagram, then based on this drawing, they will be able to do the actual connection, okay. Now, guys, as you know, we don't have face-to-face, -face, so that, that's why I'm doing this. Uh, uh, control or power diagram to help those students or new engineers to learn how to do the actual wiring. Okay. Now, uh, okay. So without further ado, let me begin with my actual explanation of each component. Now, first is the circuit breaker. Now, the purpose of the circuit breaker is to break the circuit, as the word circuit breaker implies. So uh, initially, this uh, circuit breaker is in an open position. But in actual, if it is already uh, the application is already working, now of course it will be on a close or on position. Okay, so this uh, circuit breaker is to isolate the connected motor to the power source. Now again, it can also sense or detect the uh, direct short. When I say direct short, this line and neutral touches it other or there is a wire accidentally touches these two wires that will be a very high current and if your circuit breaker is working fine it will be able to detect the high current then it will open the circuit or this one will trip okay the circuit breaker will go to the trip position thus opening the contact preventing uh, uh, damaging these components and also the uh, other uh, devices connected to your control panel okay so that is the circuit breaker then next to it is the down below is the uh, magnetic contactor now as you can see here the contact is in a normally open position okay meaning the contactor is the energized when i say the energized there is no power in this coil so this a1 and a2 is the power supply to the magnetic coil okay so this is the coil then as you know then the coil when it is uh, when you provide power in your coil then it will create a magnetic field that will pull this contact to the closed position so meaning this contact will touch here that's here that's here then the power will flow to the connected motor okay so we are using this magnetic contactor in the actual operation to uh, open and close the power supply to the uh, motor because uh, in the future we will be writing a control logic program or uh, a size uh, meaning this uh, control panel will be connected to the uh, plc or ddc direct uh, direct digital uh, controller direct digital control to automatically uh, open and close this contact as needed okay now Below the magnetic contactor, I have my overload protection. Now, overload protection, we are using this to protect the motor, the connected motor from over current. Okay. Now, the motor, it has uh, the, in the nameplate of the motor, you will see the 
full load current of the motor. Now, assuming the full load current is 2 amperes, now you have to set the overload above 2 amperes, let's say 2.1, 2.2, 2.3. Now, if the set point is reached, let's say 2.3, the motor is drawing 2.3 current, okay, then this overload will trip, thus opening the contact that we are going to use in the control to remove the power here. So when you remove the power in your magnetic coil, in this coil, okay, then it will be de-energized, then opening the contact here, then no more power supply to the motor, okay? So that is the purpose of overload protection, okay? So we are going to use the auxiliary contact here in our control, okay? Now, uh, I have here the isolator switch, okay? So this isolator switch, we are using this to uh, isolate the motor. As I said, motor control can be located in the inside the electrical room, then the motor connected to it can be remotely installed, let's say in the roof, okay? Now we usually install the isolator switch near the motor. Now this motor, this electrical motor is driving any mechanical equipment, let's say a fan, a compressor, and any other, uh, or a pump, okay? So mechanical equipment being driven by the electrical motor. Now, when your uh, electrical motor is having difficulty in driving the connected load, let's say fun, then it will, uh, <clears throat> your current might draw uh, current above the full load current, then it will be sensed by this overload protection. Okay. Now, let me go back to the isolator switch. So this isolator switch is used to uh, isolate the motor when you are doing some maintenance or preventive maintenance for the motor, let's say greasing the uh, motor, because as you know, there will be a shop in there, then there will be bearing. So you, some, from time to time, you need to grease that bearing so that uh, your shop will rotate uh, smoothly, okay? So that is the purpose of isolator switch. Now, let me show you how the power will flow to the motor. From here, I connected line one, of my terminal in my circuit breaker, the top terminal, okay, connected to the line one, okay. Then assuming this circuit breaker is on, then the magnetic contactor is powered up. So it is energized, this is closed. So the flow of power or current is like this. So from the bottom outgoing terminal of this uh, overload protection, I provide there a small jumper, okay. So it will flow from here, then it will go up again. Then it will from the line to top terminal. Then I provided a jumper also. Then so the power will flow like this. Then it will go to our isolator switch. Then the top terminal and the bottom terminal will be connected to the line leads of the motor, okay? Then the neutral, from the neutral line, you will tap one wire or connect one wire there, okay? Then connect it to the, directly connect it to the isolator switch, okay? So there is con direct connection to the neutral leads of the motor, okay? So that is how I try to wire it. Now uh, you can use also line one, then connect from here. You don't need to go up there, okay? You can connect here going there, okay? Now what is the purpose of making this jumper, okay? Now, because we want the current to flow in each contact of the component so that there will be equal wear and tear in the contacts, okay? So it is a good practice that current will flow to the all contacts of the uh, con uh, components, okay? To provide equal wear and tear, okay? So again, this is a very simple tutorial for beginners, okay? So if you are new, to motor control, this will be your baby step in learning power diagram and control diagram. In my next tutorial, video tutorial, I will be doing the control or I will do the three-phase power diagram, okay? So again, if you are new to this channel because I will be posting this to my YouTube channel, please uh, support the channel by uh, subscribing. Uh, you can also like and share the video. And if you really appreciate it and enjoy whatever you see in my tutorial. And thank you very much for watching. And let's all be safe. And God bless us all. Okay. So let me stop.